Very important for English people to have their cups of tea when we have a video. <laughs> okay, let's go. It's tea time! <laughs> it's tea time. Uh, we're here to talk about a topic of uh, of choice. Of Swazi's choice. Swazi's choice. Now, Swazi is our intern and he's been with us for the past week or so, uh, a little over a week. And uh, how, how are you enjoying it? How's it working out? Really, um, it's really great. Really great for me. Cute. I really enjoy it. <laughs> What did we do this morning, Lewis? So this morning we had a TV interview with Brighton's own latest TV. It's going to be airing this Sunday, and it was um, just chatting about the Patchwork Project of All About Trans, and they're going to be showing some of our films as well. The topic for today is... Um, stay, stay, oh, sorry, <laughs> I cannot say that. You're, you're Let's gonna say have it together. To okay. One, two, two three. three. Sterilisation. <laughs> We sound so, so happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. not, it's, it's an awful, awful topic. Because it's quite a prominent topic, isn't it? Because you were saying that in France... You must go through that in France uh, before you you, you um, change your civil state. Uh, it's um, it's, it's le a legal requirement. Yeah, it's a legal obligation. So um, so you have, to be, you have to be sterile at the end, uh, which is a big issue because... Um, especially for younger uh, tran transgenders. You have to, to make the choice uh, really soon to um, not have kids in the future. So yeah. I know I was offered an option of, of having my eggs harvested. And yeah, you me were too. too. Yeah. 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 Did you choose to take it or? No, I didn't choose to take it. I've never like wanted kids and um, I guess just because, I don't know, I still feel like a kid myself, you know what I mean? I'm 25, uh, my girlfriend's 32. I, I don't know, I mean, maybe in the very distant future, but not anytime soon. And I just thought, when I started tea, I was 19 as well. So I was kind of like, you know, if cross that bridge when when it comes to it adoption is always the thing or Absolutely. sperm donor yeah. um it just it's, kids has never really been important to me but obviously i do see the importance of having that that choice you know to, to for someone to, you know of course to have to be sterilized before they can be recognized as, as the gender it's terrible and that's i think the same thing was going on in sweden as well but i think they've since uh changed those rules uh so they don't have forced sterilization but that was up until very recently uh, for me, it was kind of the opposite, um, I, because I was at the older spectrum and I was so yeah. desperate to just get on my path as quickly as possible. Even though I was offered the, the chance to, to kind of harvest my eggs, I knew the process involved and uh, um, correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, but they you have to go off your hormones or not start your hormones. Yeah. Um, take um, other hormones, either... Um, don't you have to like, take estrogen or something that maybe boosts up your your yeah kind of, I think you do your maybe. levels so that you produce a lot of eggs that mm -hmm. are very eggy <laughs> <laughs> and like then chicken. yeah <laughs> extra large eggs <laughs> and then they they take them out and um, then they freeze them for you and I think they, do they just keep them there I mean how long do eggs last for who knows yeah uh, I think that it, and it's quite expensive it's like um, two two thousand euros for. Um, for two years of con um, of uh, conservation, so it's mm. really expensive. And you can, it's, yeah. I, I think that in France it's not legal to do that. You have to do it in Spain. So uh, yeah, really, it's, it's quite complicated. So so basically, that that is the like actual rule that like if you are transgender, you just can't have kids or well or you well I suppose you just have to put your transition on hold then you have kids yeah. first and then transition well that... no you you can have kids during the transit right. transition you just um y yeah you just cannot you're not uh, considered fully transitioned until you have this is yeah that... it is you, yeah completely yeah. so um you 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 have to wait to to change your your civil state you have to you know have your children if you want some um and then and it can be, um, it can, it can, it, it can complicate the the processes, the legal, the legal processes, because uh, it would be uh, harder for a lawyer to defend you with kids, you know. Mm. From a health point of view, they do recommend you to to have like a hysterectomy and all that and get uh, um, that sterilization because on the hormones that you are at higher risk of developing like sort of thing bad things. I mean, I've already had. I've already been sterilised. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good man, well done. <laughs> so, um, for me, like, yeah. Well, t to be honest, like, it's weird because it reminds me of the situation I was in with my hometown and how they wouldn't fund my chest surgery but they, they would only fund down below because yeah. they didn't consider, 
you to be like fully male and, and they didn't consider you know they didn't want to give me the right of having chest surgery until I'd have down below done and, and stuff so yeah. that is kind of the, but it, that was just in my town and I didn't hear of that anywhere else and I think I think that's and because they've never heard of trans guys before and it yeah. was more geared towards trans women trans women I know because obviously with trans women a lot they grow the breasts on the hormones yeah. and whereas trans guys it doesn't change that so yeah. deep down I didn't want to go through with the lower surgery and all that before my chest surgery so yeah. if it was a case of them saying like you have to be sterilized right away to be honest probably wouldn't want to do that because surgery was a massive deal for me I'd never had any operations yeah. before and you know I wanted to like take things one step at a time yeah. and it's complicated because <clears throat> I had to make my grief of my uh, well obviously of my um, internal organs but also of the child the the yeah the natural natural child i will never have you know a biological mm. child yeah a biological mm. child absolutely it's, it's like built into us i think to have this procreation and then if we're not able to do that or it's complicated yeah i mean it's almost like being an impotent man or, well or, it's just gonna say there's yeah. many there's many like natural born men and women that that can't have kids and i bet they have to battle well, you know you hear it really breaking people you know yeah. they have to battle with that don't they totally but, yeah it's something that yeah. it's like out of our hands it's like you know nature can't control it. and at the end of the day being transgender was out of our hands that was nature doing yeah. that to us so it's not our fault and it's also that you don't have the choice anymore to yeah have children. yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's right when me and drew did um, a q a in uh, northampton this like woman stood up in the audience and was basically like she was like she just attended the Q&A because she wanted to like, she was against being trans basically, <laughs> it was really bad. But everyone there was all LGBT apart from this crazy woman. And she stood up and she was like, I believe that if you transition, you shouldn't be able to have like a sperm donor or adopt kids or whatever, because you're choosing to make yourself infertile. And oh, I was like, I, I was like, yeah, but you... That's your punishment, is it? <laughs> yeah. That doesn't make I any know. sense. If you weren't able to transition, you wouldn't be in the right mental state to have kids anyway. So it's only yeah. when you, once you transition that you're in that, you are a, could be a capable parent. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I tried to say that and I don't think she understood. But That's a really good point, <laughs> I think, you know. It's that selfish moment that we have to have. I mean, not selfish. No, I know what you mean. In, in a negative way, kind of as in focusing on the self yeah. for mm -hmm. a couple of years in order to be in the right position to be able to help the rest of the world and support other people. Yeah, and, exactly. And have kids, you know. I know, yeah. I know. Because this is our one life, isn't it? At the end of the day, and like you can't, yeah. you can't waste time. You know, um, I know there are negatives to to you know something like transition well if well, you see them as negatives but you can save my life of course of course and the negatives are usually just derived from other people not not actually you, you like you know hopefully so. not you yeah, yeah. we hopefully. give ourselves enough of a hard time so yeah yeah oh by the way i remember why um why in france it's um it's an obligation to to make you yeah, to steril sterilize yourself yeah it's because uh it makes um the transition um definitive Definitive. It's, yeah, uh, definitive. it's so there's no going back. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's yeah. no going back, yeah. which is a bit silly yeah. because but obviously when you're taking hormones, I mean, after a certain a certain yeah. time, it's yeah, it, there's no going back. Yeah, you know? I mean, yeah. But it makes no allowances for gender queer people, no allowances for people who are kind of don't want to fully transition or mm. are scared of surgery or you yeah. know any of those. What things. if what if somebody couldn't have the surgery for a medical reason? Well, he cannot change his state, I think. Or maybe wow. with a lawyer, a long legal <laughs> fight, yeah. 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 Maybe he will be able, but it will be really complicated. Yeah, you might notice that we're wearing our Christmas attire. Special we're... Christmas. Yeah, Swazi is wearing a special Christmas cake. A uh, cake? <laughs> <laughs> Swazi is wearing a special... Uh... <laughs> little reindeers. I have little reindeers on my jumper. And I've got Pac-Man eating a Christmas pudding. Ah, uh, you win, Lewis. You win. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. Well, we wish you uh, a happy couple of days. Obviously, it's not Christmas yet, but um, yeah, just yeah. wanted to... Uh, Merry yeah. Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say watch latest TV on Sunday. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. Please leave any questions or suggestions for future topics that you'd like to see us discuss for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, tell them to subscribe. Please. Yeah, subscribe. Also French, subscribe. Um, yeah. Eh. Uh. <laughs> Is that French? Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir.